so GST is finally out and you're one of the companies that has been impacted negatively when it comes to GST but when we're speaking about the hybrid technology that has been implemented in the CS and the Vertica, uh, what plans does Maruti have to deal with that to combat with that considering there has been a price increase uh, in hybrid vehicles? Uh, well, uh, let's look at the things in overall perspective. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that uh, GST is something, uh, you know, uh, uh, in terms of tax reform, uh, best thing that could have happened uh, to our country. And uh, we are glad about it and we have implemented uh, it in full letter and spirit. And uh, the majority of our cars, uh, we you know, got some benefits uh, in terms of reduced tax, uh, which we have passed on to the customer and reduced the prices immediately. Uh, of course, uh, there are some concerns with respect to hybrid vehicles because word over hybrid vehicles are uh, you know given some concessions uh, in terms of uh, duty. So currently, the duty of hybrid uh, uh, cars has been put at the same level as the luxury cars. Right. So we have made a request to the government, and uh, they are considering. They are considering it's a, uh, that's what they said, uh, that's what the government said before the rollout of GST also. In, uh, in the last couple of meetings, it was said that the uh, issue of hybrid vehicles and reducing the rate is going to be taken up, but it wasn't. How hopeful are you that uh, a reduction in rates is likely? And if it doesn't happen, uh, what does Maruti have planned with the SLBS technology that you have? Would you discontinue it and move back to conventional diesels or would you still keep on operating that? Well, we have put up our plea with the government and uh, hybrid vehicles is a, uh, you know, bridge towards moving uh, you know, uh, the electrical, uh, you know, electric vehicles uh, in the long run, uh, which is there uh, you know, as a part of the government's uh, vision and mission as well. And uh, we have put up the request and uh, as I said, we are optimistic about it that government would uh, you know, uh, consider this uh, positively. So in terms of electric vehicles, uh, the government has shown intent to support electric vehicles in terms of, uh, as against hybrid vehicles, as you also uh, mentioned correctly. Uh, is Maruti working to uh, develop an in-house electric vehicle? Now we understand that you also Suzuki has a tie-up with Toyota to uh, jointly work towards new technology. So it's been a long while. Is there a development that we can hear of on that uh, part? Uh, well, uh, I think uh, you know new development is a continuous process, and uh, we'll share it with you uh, whenever the appropriate time comes. When the appropriate time comes up, I'll ask you uh, the last couple of questions on the sales pattern. Uh, during the month of June, domestic sales were rather flat, only a, a one odd percent rise. Uh, but uh, we could assume that that was because of the uncertainty before GST. How do you see sales during July and the coming months panning out? Uh, considering there has been a reduction in prices in most of your cars, do you see uh, you know a, a further rise in sales uh, as against what you've seen so far? Well, we should not draw any conclusions based on uh, say uh, a single month because auto industry is a long-term uh, business. So if we talk about quarterly results, you know we have grown by 14% in the quarter one, and uh, we had initially you know uh, mentioned that uh, our growth would be uh, double-digit plus. So we are on track and moving forward, uh, you know, all positives are there in the marketplace. Uh, you know, GST is in place, which has helped uh, reducing the tax on the uh, majority of the, you know, models. Uh, there's good monsoon, uh, so rural markets are uh, going to do well. And uh, also in the corporate world, uh, you know, areas are being paid to the, you know, government employees as well as to the defense sector. Uh, so certainly, you know, uh, the scenario is quite positive and uh, we are confident uh, about our double-digit growth in the coming months. So, double-digit, double digit, yes, but do we see an upward revision in the double-digit growth considering you mentioned all these positive factors, factors that are now coming up. Would you revise your target upwards? Uh, well, one cannot be very accurate uh, as far as you know, future forecasts are concerned. Right. Uh, but at, at the moment, the scene is highly you know, positive and we are optimistic. My last question on launches, sir. Uh, Maruti has already launched a few vehicles in this year. How many more do uh, you expect to see before the close of the first Well, we are sticking to our plan of, uh, say, 20 launches uh, by 2020. And uh, within this year also, it's aligned with that. Uh, we are accelerating our pace of launch. And uh, certainly, we will see some new launches from our launch. How many, sir? A ballpark thing. Well, you got to wait and uh, see. Right. We'll keep it at that. Thank you so much. Thank for you. Thank you. Thank you.